Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find nth derivative of log of ax plus b. So let's write here this y is equals to log of ax plus b where this a and b these are the constants and here we have to find nth derivative. So that first here we have to find y1 then y2 then y3 up to yn right. So let's differentiate this y with respect to x. Differentiating y, we get first derivative y1 and this is given by 1 upon ax plus b into derivative of this ax plus b, right? This is here we have applied chain rule. So here we have 1 upon ax plus b into a. Derivative of this ax plus b with respect to x, this is a here. So we got first derivative. Now we can write this as by taking this factor in numerator. Here we have ax plus b raised to minus 1 into a. Right? So this is we have write down first derivative. Now we want second derivative. So differentiating y1 with respect to x we have here. Differentiating y1, we get second derivative y2. This is given by this formula. Yes, we have derivative of ax plus b raised to m. This is given by m into ax plus b raised to m minus 1 into derivative of this is a, right? So, we have to apply this formula. So here we have minus 1 into ax plus b raised to minus 1 minus 1 into derivative of this a and this a this is as it is right. So here we have this is minus 1 into ax plus b raised to minus 2 into a square. This is we got second derivative y2. Two. Next we want y3. Differentiating y2 we get y3 and this is here. At this time this is minus 1 and this a square these are the constant and we want derivative of this right. So by using this formula here we have yes what is the derivative of this. This is we have to write minus 2 into ax plus b raised to this minus 2 minus 1 right and derivative of this this is a and this a square right. So here we can simplify this is as here we can take this minus 1 to this one we can combine this minus 1 to this minus 1 so here we have minus 1 its square and this 1 into 2 this is as it is here. And next this is ax plus b raised to minus 3 and this is a cube. Right? So we got here y3. In the same manner we can find y4. So in this way we have find 4 derivatives. Now we have to check the pattern. How these derivatives are varies here. So yes we can check that here we have minus 1 its cube. Then 1 into 2 into 3 we can write this is 3 factorial. And this we can take this is in denominator. So here we have 1 upon ax plus b raised to 4 and this is a raised to 4 right. We can check that here when we have fourth derivative we have here minus 1 its cube into 3 factorial right. That means 1 power is get reduced here and power of this ax plus b and a this is 4 right. 
so yes let's check this derivative now so here we have minus 1 it's square and this is here we have 2 factorial now we have to write this is in denominator ax plus b cube and this is a cube now again check that here when we have third derivative power of this ax plus b this is 3 and this is power of a is also 3 and here we have minus 1 its square and 2 factorial that means here power 1 get is reduced now we have to write about y2 so what is y2 here we can write this is minus 1 raised to 1 right and here 1 factorial and now this is ax plus b its square and this is a square that means for y2 here we have power 2 right for this power 2 and here minus 1 raised to 1 and 1 factorial right this is for y2 and we have to check about y1 so here we can yes we have power 1 1 here and we want this here now we know that we can write this is minus 1 raised to 0 right this is we have 1 yes and we also know that 0 factorial this is 1 so we can write for y1 we have minus 1 raised to 0 and this is 0 factorial right and this is 1 upon ax plus b raised to 1 and this is power 1 right so by observing all this we can write y5 yes for y5 we have here minus 1 raised to 4 into 4 factorial right and this is when we have y5 we want power of this ax plus b this is raised to 5 and this is a raised to 5 right now in the same manner we can write yn so differentiating y with respect to x and times we get yn and this is given by yes here we have to write minus 1 raised to n minus 1 right and n minus 1 factorial right and this is into 1 upon ax plus b raised to n into a raised to n right so in this way we have find nth derivative of log of ax plus b and this is given by this is minus 1 raised to n minus 1 into n minus 1 factorial into 1 upon ax plus b raised to n into a raised to n right so this is nth derivative of log of ax plus b right now let's understand this formula by one simple example let's consider if we have this function y is equals to log of 2x plus 3 right and we want its nth derivative so what will be nth derivative here right and if we want its fifth derivative so what will be fifth derivative this is y phi u that means at this time n is equals to phi u so here we have to write minus 1 raised to this is phi u minus 1 into phi u minus 1 factorial into 1 upon 2x plus 3 raised to phi u into 2 raised to phi u now further we can simplify this is here so this is we can find nth derivative by using this formula so yes in this way we have to proceed for finding nth derivative of this log of ax plus b right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching